I'm going to show you how to make the head of the dachshund. Okay, the head of the dachshund. So I've worked a little bit ahead. I have made the body, which is um, which is this. So this is the deeper chest, and then this is the slimmer waist. Okay, and um, I have used the template here. That one up there is the first one, and I've kept measuring it against it to make sure that it it sort of fits into that shape there and that's looking really good it's not too solid because as we're working on the shaping it will shrink down so this bit here is bigger than this bit down there so to make the head um, once you've split the wool apart and all the rest of it you take your white wool like that and you fold it in half like that so at the moment if, it, if it's um, it's it's flat it's as, it's it's as long as it is wide wide and wide <laughs> uh, you fold it in half and then you just roll in the top bit so you're keeping that nice and pointy already so you're rolling it so that this is fluffy and this is a lot more shaped there oh yes I've just remembered something else. If this is your first box, which I'm guessing a lot of you watching, um, certainly today, you are getting your first box. In your very first box, you are now getting, instead of the foam mat, you get our new basic wool mat. This is not as sophisticated as our earth um, wool mat, which a lot of you have got already, um, but it is definitely perfect for needle felting. This is the earth mat. That's the smallest size of the earth mat we do. That's the basic wool mat. The basic wool mat comes in two parts like that. It's got a hessian. Um, can you see that? It's got a hessian base. The two hessians, hessian bases, get sandwiched in the middle. And then you use this top or bottom part. They're the same either way around to um, needle felt onto. In your first box, you also get your six felting needle felting needles that is um, two of each size medium um, coarse and fine these are to help you with future projects but that's setting you up in your first box you don't get that again in the second third and, and so on box so um, going back to oh that's not a good needle that one's bent going back you have your um, that's already folded in half it's just popped open as I let go of it roll this together so do you get your shape brought here and more pointy there and then you just work on it and I'm just going to go a little bit a little bit smaller here so you can see it better I don't know if, if um, the buffering has stopped now no idea oh got fluff in my mouth now as well so I've got my body shape here just moving this out of the way and put that there so I'm stabbing into just the front part of this um, rolled up shape and I'm concentrating my needle so that I'm getting that snout nice and pointy. And that's all I'm felting at the moment. So when you look at our instructions, just open this up, on here where the template is, you can see that the um, areas that are marked like that crisscrossed that is where we're literally just felting this area up to there and this stays fluffy. And um, stuff that down. So what this will do is it will give you a shape, um, a snout. And um, this will, with, with these projects, we do ask you to be quite diligent in stabbing things down quite firmly. So it will take a little bit longer to... Um, work on your projects compared to the larger ones when they were really quite um, fluffy and um, so you you so slipping out of the picture here so you've got this felted down and this is still loose now because what we want is the dog's um, head has naturally got um, the forehead going up here and if you stick your finger in there you can sort of um, you can um, you can see that if you put something where my thumb is poking that will give it naturally the the, the top of the nose and then it goes up so to have that that bit in here that's my thumb at the moment um, we are going to take another little bit of wool and you're going to stuff it inside where you put your thumb you're actually going to stuff it with wool 
so that you are creating that ridge um, and then the, the, the bit that goes up so that you get that nice, just show you with a real, with a dog, that you get that nice head shape here. You're actually stuffing that inside there. And now the, the challenge is to uh, needle felt that in without stabbing yourself. So you're, you're going to um, make that um, stuffing stay in there by felting it in. And all the while you probably have to work a little bit more on the snout because that's still quite long. So shorten the snout and um, and work on the whole shaping of the head. But you're not actually going to felt these wispy ends down. We do need them still because they need to sit, um, they need to fit over the body of the dachshund. So we've now, we've got a much more distinct head by having this um, extra bit here, that, that bulge that goes up um, to the top of the head and we, we can keep the, the base flat, which is exactly what we want. So um, we don't put this straight onto the body yet because we're, we're making an inner neck and the inner neck again is made from a, um, a separate piece of wool. Again, it tells you exactly in the instructions what to use. And um, for, for this one, you're folding this in half as well. And then as with the snout, you're just rolling it in, but this time you're rolling it in so that it's more of a sausage shape rather than a pointy cone shape. And then you're felting this down separately into a really firm um, long sausage well it's not actually long it needs to be a stubby sausage shape but just felt it felt the wispy fibers down first and then felt it blunt on both ends so you're making almost like a well I call it the inner neck in the instructions but it is um it is a blunt little shape I guess and um, and then you attach it to the head fur uh, to the body first before you attach the head um, and um, what has happened to me and it might happen to you is that you put this on there it looks quite funny when you put that on there and um, and felt that on by just stubbing into the side of it and have that sort of at a at a um, an angle pointing up not so so you don't flatten the the chest part and when it's on there what you might find is when you add the head over it that it's actually stopping the head from getting close enough to the body and if that is the case then instead of pulling it off and starting over again you just literally use a pair of scissors and you cut it short so don't be afraid to do that just um, if it's too long then just cut it short so I haven't felt this on very well once that is um, the right size because you keep um, testing it with a head then you're putting the head on there and now you have to be able to pull these fibers that you have left unfelted over the head and onto the body and you're felting these down. Sometimes it works just getting them down roughly so that you can look at the shape because what you need to do is you need to make sure that you get that neck shape in. Um, this is in effect where you're going to put the, uh, the collar when it's going onto the dog. And... Um, that you can do so much by just sculpting it as you're as you're going along so this this snout here because I haven't spent a lot of time there is a lot of air in there um, that needs to fe be felted down is slightly out of proportion but remember you have got your little template and on here the size of the head, whether you measure it from the top down to the um, down to the um, throat, or wh whether you measure it from the tip of the nose to the back of the head, is is one measurement. And two of these, two of these measurements can fit into the torso. So you can you can see that this is way too big at the moment because that long head fits only twice into the body. So I need to work a lot more by making that. Um, smaller which I probably should have done before I even attached it but you can that's the beauty about these templates is that you can actually work with the sizing um, as you go along and just always compare it to the the template that you're working with 